So have you guys ever seen My Big Fat Greek Wedding? It's such a great film. There are so many awesome messages that the mother passes on to her daughter Tula in that film about men and marriage. The most profound exchange was when the mother said, Tula, let me tell you something. The man is the head, but the woman is the neck, and she can turn the head any way she wants. Now, in order to understand this dynamic, you have to have a boatload of maturity because many women will use this power against their man, and that's a big no-no. The point is to appreciate and understand a man's need to be right and in control, which I think I've already done a video on, and find creative ways to work around that fact as a wife or girlfriend. This is just one example, though, of something modern women take offense to because they've been groomed to believe that men should think and behave like women and that catering to a man's nature is somehow backward thinking, right? So of course, the laugh is on them because they're failing miserably in relationships where women in earlier eras, in earlier eras did not. At the end of the day, what modern women have not been taught is how to love a man. On the contrary, they've been specifically taught to dissociate from men and to depend on themselves for everything. And this attitude, this mindset that women have been groomed to harbor is the number one reason their relationships fail. Virtually all of my clients are millennials, all of them. And when I listen and learn about their very common marriage and relationship struggles, I ask myself, why is something that should be so obvious to most people not obvious? There are so many basic facts that women are completely in the dark about because they didn't have mothers like Tula did in, the big, in my big fat Greek wedding. They weren't taught, for example, how powerful their femininity, their femininity, I can never say that word right, is in bringing out the best in a man. They weren't taught that respect is the key to building a healthy relationship with a man. To illustrate this power, I'd like to challenge any woman who's married or in a relationship to do three things consistently for one week and see what happens. Ready? Number one, wear a skirt or a dress and give your man lots of affection. Number two, compliment your man or thank him for something. And number three, make zero complaints, which means essentially that you're not going to nag in any way. This is for one week. So you're going to do all three of these things every day for one week. Wear a skirt or a dress and give him lots of affection. Compliment your man or thank him for something and make zero complaints. This is every day for one week. These are just three examples of what my coaching clients do that get amazing results overnight. And the reason it does is because it's supremely easy to love a good man once you know how, once you have those skills. If you wanna hear more about what all this looks like in real time, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna be talking soon with Madeline, a former client of mine on my podcast. And if you subscribe below, you'll get notified when that episode goes up. Good luck.